Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, social media, pop culture, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. If you're following on Alternative Tech as well as here on YouTube, I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support. We start things off with what should have been the biggest news story on Sunday as well as throughout this week from Deadline. Vice President Kamala Harris at Walter Reed Hospital for routine medical appointment. A day after assurances from the White House that Vice President Kamala Harris did not contract C-19 after exposure to two infected Texas legislators, she's at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for what's described as a routine visit. I think it might be fair to say that she's there to be tested for C-19 because as we can see here, she is surrounded by some of the Texas Democrats who, of course, uh, left Texas to avoid doing their job. And of course, that kind of writes its own jokes. And then we also find out this week, or we found out this week, the sixth Texas Democrat in Washington, D.C. tested positive for C-19. The Texas House Democrat Caucus, which has said it plans to not identify lawmakers who test positive, has started additional precautionary measures, such as providing daily rapid tests. Maybe they should have just stayed and did their job in Texas. State Rep. Donna Howard D. Austin has tested positive for the C illness, marking the sixth case among nearly 60 House Democrats who traveled to Washington, D.C. last week to prevent the passage of a GOP election bill at the Texas legislature. So in other words, what they're trying to do in very simple terms is they want to keep the concessions, rules, and other things that they had during the pandemic because it just opened up, for example, they just did like uh, mail-in ballots and uh, mail-in ballots as well as absentee ballots in mass without unsolicited mail-in ballots and absentee ballots. And that's what they want. They basically just want to flood the market because you got to think about it this way. People in general, <clears throat> the idea, of course, is when you vote, you go and vote, which means that you have to make a physical effort to go and vote. And like many things that we have to do as a routine or as just kind of maybe uh, just regular type government activities like getting a driver's license and forth, you know, people would really just kind of avoid it because of the lines and just the stigma and everything that goes along with it. So they're basically trying to make voting on demand. Now, I don't necessarily object to people requesting a mail-in ballot or an absentee ballot provided that they go through the process, which isn't difficult. But of course, they just want to make it an in mass at home on-demand voting system, and that's really not the way it's designed. So, a vaccinated aide to Pelosi tested positive after being in contact with Texas Democrats, some of whom also tested positive. Of course they tested positive. This is from the New York Times, and basically what we're seeing here, and what this reminds me of, is you guys probably recall when we talked about the almost daily charges against President Trump about super spreader events, about his rallies being super spreader events. Yet we didn't hear a lot about uh, C-19 being spread during those events. I mean, it was, I mean, the media really had to dig super, super deep to try to find any sort of C-19 news during those rallies. But as we can see here with these Democrats who were, uh, who, what they call double jabbed, they had both the vaccines contracted C-19, apparently, and we saw them on the flight no mask. So again, we're seeing the Democrats doing everything they tell everyone else to do. But as you guys know, our mantra here is the left never holds itself to the same standards they expect from everyone else. So from Tim Cast, who's up and running now, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out Tim Cast, he has his own site now, of course, because of all of the censorship and suppression and so forth that goes on on YouTube. Although Tim is probably not as affected. Say it, Saki. Press Secretary refuses to call Texas Dems D.C. adventure a super spreader event. And yet for a considerable amount of time and the number of times that super spreader was part of the trending on Twitter, mocking President Trump just constantly, we get this from Tim Cast News. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki refused to comment on reports that a group of Texas Democrats who fled the state to block a voting integrity bill contracted C-19, saying the progressive lawmakers are simply standing up for freedom.
Of course they are. Well, they're sitting on a plane spreading the sea virus. So, uh, I, I mean, that could be an issue, right? But we find out more. Saki, Saki clarifies to E. Ed O'Keefe, there have been other breakthrough C-19 cases in the White House that have not publicly been disclosed. And so we see down here, O'Keefe saying, you confirmed today there's been a breakthrough case. Saki, yep, O'Keefe. But you're also confirming there have been other breakthrough cases. Saki, yep, O'Keefe. But you had not previously disclosed that. Uh, you had not previously disclosed that there had been Saki. And that's correct. So basically we have an admission here. Saki notes that the... Com that the com oh God, I can't read today, guys. Saki notes that they committed to informing the public of any commissioned officer level positive test and stand by that. So I'm just trying to be a little cautious about what I read here because there's, you know, I don't know if we still get demonetized for saying the actual virus as I just did now. Might have to just blot, blot that out and edit it out because I just don't want to take any chances with it, guys. It's just been such a, a, a roller coaster. But <clears throat> I do want to mention this too because I think you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. We moved from the Delta variant, which I think I can say, and now we have Epsilon. So California Epsilon strain of COVID-19 could evade vaccine study says. So here we are. Are we looking at another potential um, Democrat taking advantage of another situation? In other words, like taking advantage of a crisis again. Are we looking at them pushing these continuing concerns about the about the illness? I almost said it, and I did say COVID-19, so we'll see how that all works out in the end. So it's interesting to see. Are we pushing towards that again? Is this is this the goal? Because if you think about it, we're only what 18 months away from the midterm elections. 18 months away. So can the Democrats continue to push? Continue to push. We see this in Australia. Australia is in lockdown. Is that where we're going to be? Do you think we're really seeing the, the, the goalposts continually being moved so that by 2022, for the midterms, we could potentially see another lockdown, which means another in mass dispersal of mail-in ballots and absentee ballots. And that's what we want to try to avoid again. Because if you want to be able to vote, go and vote. If, if the Democrats are worried about their voters being suppressed, well, then have your voters go and vote in person because that's how you're going to take care of that. But the big concern here, of course, is how did these particular Democrats affect uh, the area there in Washington? Because you know these people are intermingling. They're getting selfies. They're, they're all going to be interacting. But, of course, they were probably wise enough to keep Joe Biden away from it all. And now that this has happened, we'll probably see Joe Biden even more isolated and possibly even wearing more masks. But... The other question we also had is, is Kamala going to quarantine out of decorum or just out of a, a show of following their own rules? It's hard to say because apparently from what they're saying here is that um, that she wasn't exposed and therefore uh, potentially not infected, maybe tested but not infected. But should she quarantine? That's the question. Should she? Should she? Should they take the advice that they're trying to give to everyone else? And that's always the question that we always have. That's the one that we always ask. So. That's what I wanted to bring to you guys this week. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. And, of course, below this video, you can find the various social media sites that I belong to to include Alternative Tech and your standard social media. I would encourage you guys to give me a follow as I do daily posts on those particular platforms each day. And, of course, all of you here on YouTube, that would be the channel icon appearing right there on the screen to subscribe along with notifications. So if you guys want to keep up with all that's going on here with the channel, you guys can click on that notification and you'll have all the content that's presented here on the channel as well as the Friday vlog. And I will see you guys right there behind that camera next week.